Hi, we've been hearing about the beginnings of Jesus Church. He went back to heaven and sent his Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit was helping believers in Jesus become like Jesus and do the things Jesus did. Wow, the Holy Spirit is our super helper. This is my super cape to help you remember that the Holy Spirit is our super helper from Jesus to help us become like Jesus and do the things that please him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you know, we've learned about Peter and John, two of Jesus' followers. Do you see this guy dancing and leaping and praising God? He had been lame from birth. That meant he couldn't walk. His ankles and feet didn't work. But in Jesus' name, he could now. The Holy Spirit led Peter and John to say, be healed in Jesus' name. And he was. But some leaders didn't like that. Now, these were leaders who were supposed to know God better than Peter and James but they had not wanted to know Jesus. They didn't want to believe any resurrection from the dead, that God raised people from death to a more, better, glorious life. They didn't want to believe that. So even when they heard about the miracle and they saw in Peter and John how different they were after spending time with Jesus. A long time with Jesus. They had spent time with Jesus while he was on earth before he died. And now they were spending time with Jesus by his spirit. And we can too by reading the Bible and asking Jesus, show me, let me meet with you. Show me what you want me to know. <gasps> Jesus, you're so good. And just talking to him. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, God. You made such a great world. Peter and John were being changed. They were being so wise and patient with the mean leaders putting them in jail. They were being powerful with the Spirit's power, like Jesus. And you know what? That's like these eggs. One of these eggs has been a long time in the water, and one has never been in the hot water. So the one that's been a long time in the hot water has changed and it can spin for a long time. And the one that's never been in the hot water can't spin for very long. It's raw and it's not good to eat. Whereas the one that's been in the hot water for a long time, it is good to eat. You know what? I don't know which egg is which anymore. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to be able to tell by what they do. Let's see who spins for a long time. Well, that barely spun at all. Let's see if this guy, oh, he likes spinning. Look, even with the other one knocking him, he's still spinning. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, look at that one spin. That's the egg that's been in the hot water a long time. When we've been with Jesus a lot, it's gonna show. We're going to be wiser like him because we'll be learning his wisdom from him. And we're going to be more patient because we're trusting him to get us through things. And we're going to be strong to do what he says. His spirit's going to help us to tell about him, to, to be kind when others are mean, to keep doing what's good even when others would give up. Just like that one egg would keep spinning. But Peter and John... They had had a hard time and it was kind of scary because those, those leaders who didn't want to know God and didn't want anything to do with Jesus, they said, you can go free, but you can't talk about Jesus anymore. <laughs> Peter and John said, hey, what's more important? You're supposed to know God better to obey God or just men leaders. Uh-oh, especially when leaders are going against exactly what God said to do. And God had said, Jesus had said a couple of times and very clearly, tell about me. People need to know. So they went, they ran to be with their Jesus friends, others who did know and love Jesus. And they got all together and they prayed. They praised God. You're bigger than me, leaders. You created everything. You have a great plan. You're so good. And you warned us. They knew 
from spending time with Jesus in the Bible, they knew. You told us, you warned us, there are going to be leaders and people who war against you and say, you can't talk about Jesus. So we're going to obey you, God. Give us courage. Give us boldness. And wow, God did. God shook the room so they knew the Holy Spirit was around. And they weren't even afraid. They knew it was God being with them and showing them his power. We can know Jesus and his power and not be afraid. So when you start to feel afraid, we're a little anxious. You can remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self control so i'm doing an action like this to show that i can be steady and strong and make good choices that's self-control so fear god doesn't send a spirit like that you might feel afraid for a moment or something you think of every time you think of it might make you afraid but then you can say but god you're my super helper you have a plan thank you you can praise god and receive more of his spirit of power and love and self-control. That's 2 Timothy 1.7. So if you start to feel afraid or if you feel scared, you weak. Oh no, I can't do it. It's too big for me. Poor me. I shouldn't have to. <sighs> That's not from God. So you can turn to God and say more of your spirit, please. And God gives a spirit of love. So if you start to feel hate i hate myself i hate life i hate them i hate school that's stupid there's a lot of hate going now you might hate something bad say oh i hate it when he does that or oh i hate it when that happens but don't stay there turn to god you don't want a spirit of hate and anger spirit of love and self-control self-control is like okay self let's have a good day with god okay self let's have some fun jesus way Okay, self, we can be strong to do this with Jesus. Self-control, where you're making good choices with yourself instead of wild out of controlness, like, ah, I need a hit, I'm gonna be good, no, I'm gonna be mean, now I'm gonna be kind, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not going, I'm gonna run away. <gasps> Who wants to be around someone who's out of control like that? You could get hit, but look at the way my arms are going. So when you start to feel crazy out of control, you can ask for that spirit of self-control. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1.7. Enjoy being Jesus, people, and enjoy his spirit because... He's in you, and you can have more of him as you turn to him and give him more room in you. God bless, and goodbye.